Okay. Ooh, we got a Lux mid. I was about to ban Lux. Top Lilia isn't going to give a shit about Teemo. Ooh, they banded Brand. Nocturne's out. They're really going to have... They're going to be hard-pressed to pick some champions that I hate playing against on this one. Most of them got banned out in the face. The patch is why there are no people accepting. They're all just shaking at the thought of having to play against a Teemo. I don't like this pit combo because it gives away that we're Odir jungle, Lilia top. Or maybe they think they're Lilia jungle and I'm Odir top. Lilia versus Trendemir. I think she gets worked. I think Trendemir is one of the few that can actually just go in and fuck her shit up. Actually, yeah, Lily is not supposed to be top. Maybe everyone goes in and fucks her shit up. Patch made the game glitch a bit. My home screen was like blocked off, like it just wouldn't load. Um, that's a lot of AD. I'm not afraid of Cho'Gath. Even if Cho'Gath goes full AP, I'm not afraid of Cho'Gath. So, as long as their support isn't heavy AP, which I took Brand away, so you know, I took Brand away and we took Lux away. I don't think I have to be afraid of AP here. I think I can just build. Thornmail. Thornmail's gonna be crazy on this. Oh yeah, the patch made health more valuable based on level. It's actually pretty worth now, but we're gonna do the six armor. Gonna be one trick. I can say you should win. Okay, but can you do you say that as someone who's like maybe skilled at Trendemir? Or do you think like if they're both kind of yeah. And support has like a fifty sixty-five dollar win rate. Hell yeah. Last night I think I was running spite and the game would keep glitching and auto use it on the wrong things. Wait, that's what? That extra health will be amazing on Soraga. I mean it's only like 50 health. Only like 50 HP. Unless there's actually an item combination that got within 50 HP before, but wouldn't get it, and now will get it. Last night, Thick was running... Oh, Thick was running Smite, not you. I got you, I got you. I mean, okay, Anger, but is it possible that Lily you were playing against was just dog shit? Oh, Trinomir's mid. Cho'Gath top. She does a lot better against Cho'Gath. She's gonna dodge his shit. She's just fast as fuck. She's gonna do a lot better there. Um, Lux? New Lux may pop Trinomir pre-6. He'll hard dive her afterwards, but I'll just try to be around by 6. We can punish him for that. The game would glitch when I use my W. Glitch how? Like, what, what would happen? I believe you. I'm just curious. I'm trying to get, you know, learn more about it. I'm learning, so I was told not to touch anyone else but Garen and Susan so far. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Garen's a really good starter pack pick. Um, if you're really wanting to learn the game of League of Legends, take Garen top and take Annie mid. Queue up top mid or mid top, depending on your preference. Annie in mid, Garen in top, and literally just run that. You very rarely find Garen banned. He occasionally might get picked away from you. They are incredibly basic champions, which in a good way, they are incredibly basic champions. Um, super helpful for just learning the game on it's easy to get their abilities down and then you can focus on learning the game once you kind of know them a bit um i'm probably going to be focused on running people down more than bursting them so or more than just duking it out with their shit my first was rise my first champion was ash I took Ash into a uh, bot lane. I took Ash into bot lane until we found out that we just fucking hated Summoner's Rift, and then we started playing ARAMs only. And then when I got back, when I finally started playing again, I'm 
remember. I think I went to Trundle Top. I think I gravitated towards Trundle Top over time. When I actually started playing again, playing again. Um, oh, an Olaf. I was on an Olaf kick. And the reason I was on an Olaf kick is because I got my first Penta with Olaf. It was an ARAM, so you know. A lot of people don't count ARAM Pentas, and that's fine. But I only played ARAM, so... First time I ever got a Penta was Olaf. And I got the Penta. Uh, I think I went down and died, like, after they all respawned. And then I spawned back in, ran over, and got another Penta. And I was like, oh, okay, this champion's pretty good, I guess. Fire Red Remix. Yep, there she go. There go them buffs. What, what is she? Full HP? Where did she kill him? Under his own tower? Then took your red. Oh, you took his life, so I guess we're good. Really ballsy they're trending me to start my red buff. Uh, bot lane dying, don't let- Oh, they were low too. Wait, she did the minions? She did the minions! Nice! We take those. Better than nothing. And Morgana ran teleport. What the fuck? Come on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am simply glad she did not die. Gonna be right there. Do not deny your instinct, summoner. His Q's down. For some reason I'm comfortable with this. Graves, buddy, look, I just I just wanted the crab! Graves, I just wanted the crab! Oh, look, alright. No, 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 we went, no, 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 you talked all that good shit, Graves, let's fucking throw down. I don't give a fuck. Head through the wall. No, Graves was talking that good shit. I just wanted the crab, he wanted the tango. I'm like, alright, bitch, I'll fucking fight. But... Move cam off map? Yeah, yeah, my fault. I need to get a setup that's just League of Legends. Right now I have one setup for everything, which means I end up moving my cam. Like, I'll play League and it gets in that kind of unique spot in League. And then, uh... When I play any other game, I usually end up moving it, because that spot usually is taken up by something. Cams in most games are better off in the corner. Sorry about that, thank you for pointing it out. Okay, bot lane trading one for one again. You know what's weird is uh, Lux got buffed and Morgana didn't. I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. Maybe they think Morgana's fine. Dead. Thinking down there in time to help that. Oh, she hit him with the stun. Nice. Good shit. Oh, Graves is being a real fucking dickhead. Got this crab already? Yeah. Oh, he was extra mad about that fucking crab. Um, I barely don't have the gold I need. I don't want to wait around for 75 gold. I flash. She's at six. He's at three. Graves, buddy, thank you. That was the gold I needed.
Get this spin up. We killed the two of them. She's at six already. Do not deny your instinct, summoner. He's not gonna be. He's not even gonna be able to dive her. He's about to kill him again. Yep. He tried it. I bet she missed everything, too. Did bot lane just double kill? Alright, I am low on levels, but... I'm also about to go get me an Earth Dragon, so... He's got mad priority in that mid lane. Uh, she's actually not farming with a shit either, but she's got three kills on Trinomir, so she doesn't have to farm that well. I haven't been smiting as much as I should. Good stuff. Drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Swain just, I think Swain just did something to me. He smited it early. Just fucking auto him, Morg! If she didn't run from him, we kill him. Like, we kill him and I don't have to die. Now, granted, he got the buff. She got blue buff, so it's fine. But, like, I don't have to die there. That's all. Not that bad. Could be worse. Uh, let's work towards plated steel caps because those are going to be huge. Full armor this game is going to go nuts because Cho is... I don't know what Cho is going because Lily is actually pushing his shit in. Lily is Lily has had Cho so oppressed up there. Bot lane's winning now. Uh, Lux is dominating. Um, Trendemir's got shoved out of lane so bad he's... yeah. Oh yeah, all chat's off. She's dead. Can't help her. Fuck, man. I didn't realize that Trenimir's slow was perma. Woo! <laughs> Got his ass! Get fucked, Trenimir. Anyway. Uh, let's play the steel caps. If I have played the steel caps before that fight, I don't die there. Uh, I think G I think Jinx got a placebo buff. Like it, it's a buff, but it's not that great. Her chompers have like five extra range. Her attack speed buff. So like in long team fights, which isn't going to help her a lot in laning phase, she gets an attack speed buff. And the only real buff that like she got got that'll help, I think, is her ultimate. Lux is chasing Graves down in his own jungle, by the way. So everyone's fully aware of what's happening here. And she got him. And she got him. And now the two of these, they're going to collapse on Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath's fucking dead. As soon as her stun's up. As long as she doesn't get eaten. She might get eaten. Nah, there's the stun. Should be over there. Fuck. She got eaten. Pop. You're not faster than Lily, uh, eat shit. Eat shit. You're not faster than Lily, uh, it's fastest champ in the game.
Make him go that way. I have smite, by the way. Killed him, F. Don't love that. Oh, God, you trying to fucking die? Eat shit, Trendemir. Ooh, we are getting paid. That's what gold looks like. Well, he's a dumb champ. Why they make her splash art look just like Nico? I don't know, actually. We are an annoying team, just in general. Um, Udir and Lily are just unbelievably annoying to pin down. I need it back. I don't have Triforce, but I got some pretty damn good equipment that builds towards Triforce. Actually, I need I need the Sheen. Why would I back when I got all these camps up? Look at Trenimer's build. He is struggling. Three rejuvenation beads. You ever see somebody with three rejuvenation beads? You know they are fucking crying. I want that to go away. Gone. Morgana has missed all of her stuns, and of course they all still have their flashes. I can fight Trendemir. I can't beat him if he undying rages me, but I can fight him. Hit him. You did. Ooh, Infernal Dragon. It is weird. They came out with two forest girls really close to each other back to back with Lily and Nico. It's a little bit on the strange side. Um, I barely don't have enough. I should have killed one more camp or something. Barely don't have enough for the Triforce. Oh well. We're strong. We're strong. Team's winning. Mid lane one, top lane one, bot lane one. Granted, we can still throw. Don't get the wrong idea. Throwing's still on the table. Might kill them both. Come on, come on, Lilia. Come on. Oh. 
They're cooked. The forfeit's coming, chat. The forfeit's coming. What up, Azure? Trying to throw hands? Actually, that's a bad idea. Choke ass nearby. I'm gonna take the rest of his jungle, though. I'm gonna take the rest of this jungle. He might get the other Rift Herald, but like, who the fuck cares? I normally wouldn't finish the rest of these, but I'm going to because... Yep, got the level. Damn, if she'd land a stun one of these days, we would have dead. We would have kills on kills. Actually, his red buffs up. I kind of want that. I don't want to make this red buff my red buff. That's better. Fucking, they all have flash for me always. I'm so pissed. I've made Swain flash twice, not on ganks. Oh, Lily is getting wrecked. Good shit. Oh, I have Triforce and then some. I need to back. He's been up there for like half an hour doing this thing. Oh, she's gonna lose it! He's gonna come in and eat it! Oh, and she's out of mana. She can't stop him. He's gonna die! Oh, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's get some thorn mill. Let's be unkillable. Infernals are big. Uh, Lilia gets huge. Lux gets huge. MF. Yeah. Even Morgana, who's going straight AP. Everybody eats off of Infernal. Morgana has five kills. She's actually kind of beefy. Our AP damage is nothing to, nothing to shake at. Which leaves MF wide open to do a bunch of damage, because they're going to want to build. Yeah, Infernal Drake is big time for us. Come on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Haha, <laughs> bitch, what the fuck? He exploded. What up, Bass? I have Thornmail, so if she autos me, it actually hurts her, which... Aggro's the turret onto me. Fuck. Woo! The Lux damage! God damn! Nah, these I, I get that this Lux is super fed. So this is like a bad example, but these Lux buffs are fucking nutty. Those uh, there's the FF. You always discussing JJK? No, that's just been my title since I started rewatching JJK, which was yesterday.
Yeah, so Lux got buffed. Turns out. That's just been my title, because that might be... That's actually the most perfect outro of all time. Okay, we have to win two more to rank up, which is unfortunate. Good rounds, everybody. Good rounds. I got an A+. Plus. I think I was one point away from getting an S. Pretty sure 800 is the S mark. I swear Riot doesn't play their own game. Who thought Lux needed buffs, man? She already got played a bunch. This crank, like... She was like an okay, not great mid laner, but she got played a bunch down here in support. And the support role, she was still killing it. It's so weird. They just, they're just like, nah, you know what? She's a super strong support and a super strong mid laner now. The drummer for the band that does the outro was arrested for some serious shit. Never needed to know that. Didn't need to know. Didn't have to say anything. Oh yeah, TFT's the rework, or the next TFT patch is in the PBE right now. I might try to get an early jump on TFT when they come out with a new drop on that one. Yeah, TFT gets changed every, like, couple months. Every time the TFT season ends, it comes back with a whole new look. Whole new wave of uh, champions to use and things like that. Which is why it's kind of hard to do what I do, because I, I like to get in the league every few months. You can get in the league every couple months, and like, there's buffs and nerfs, and you know, maybe two new champions come out, but it stays a lot. Of, it stays the same a lot of the time. It doesn't get overhauled. TFT gets fucking overhauled, so it's like you got to relearn the whole new meta every time you jump back into TFT. I don't play long enough to justify that. Do the brand band or the Lux band? You can do either one now. Gen 2 soundtrack's a classic. I don't think I played that one. I don't think I played that set. Oh, fuck. Shit, my whole vibe just got fucked up. If they look at an ADC here, which they should. Uh, I'm sorry. We have a support stiver. fuck is this team? Both of these teams are so weird? Sounds like Final Fantasy music. 
Tom Kinch top. Shen Ziggs bot. Graves mid. Okay, their team's not as weird as I thought it would be. Their team's actually relatively normal. Graves mid is like kind of an iffy one, but everything else is somewhat standard. Our team is fucked. Why the fuck do we have a Dark Harvest support Sivir? How is that going to work? I'm going to have to be the tank god, but Ziggs does magic damage. Shen does... Shen I don't really have to worry about. Kench does magic damage. And then Graves and Yi are heavy AD. That poor Teemo, he won't last against Tom. They both went Grasp. Interesting. Maybe he'll go Tank Mo. Nah, we don't need him to go Tank Mo. We need AP damage. Our team is so fucking weird. What I don't like about our team is everybody gets popped by Yi. Everybody except for me gets popped by Yi, and I'm the only one with a stun. So, like, I am literally going to have to be anti-Yi. It's my entire job. Um... Shit, I don't know which smite to take. I don't like the way these teams are shaping up at all. He bought a support item, so it's not like she's trying to steal the ADC roll. She's just gonna, I think she just plans on queuing a bunch. A little ward. Put a little ward down. This is the shittiest leash I've ever gotten. mid probably dumpsters Katarina too. This whole thing is not looking good. Katarina started with a dark seal. Yeah, I think this guy I should have dodged this game. I was really hovering the dodge in uh, Q. Uh, I have not even cleared my second camp. Katarina's pinging for assistance. This is a bad sign. I'm sure Katarina gets fucking rolled by, uh, Graves. On the flip side, Vayne, now you know what? Vayne kind of also counters G. She's got the knockback, at least. She, she can fuck him up. The invisibility roll plus the knockback. Vayne can do stuff. Emo doing just fine against Tom so far. Cat, here comes your gank. Here comes that gank you wanted. Alright, Cat, you didn't follow up when I stunned him on that gank. Guess we don't get to kill him now. As long as bot holds up, we're okay. Is he a red? He is red. He's dead. 
Oh my god, she didn't. She forgot to auto him. She forgot to click him one time. Oh, that sucks. She forgot to click on him once. Treads game? I don't think it's a Merc Treads game. The Pointed Steel Caps game. And then we build Spirit Massage. Why did she die? How did she die? He Oh, he ignited her, I bet. Get something going here. Let's do that. Did he get my TM at by? I like the ward. The silver ward is like a little announcer dude. Timo's losing in CS. Katarina's losing in CS. Collapse on him. Team? Oh, wait. Wait, no. There were only three of them. And why did it feel like there were four of them down there? That was so weird. I thought for sure they'd know that the E was coming. I don't know where all my health went either. Yeah, I should have dodged this game. I knew this game was going to be a fucking garbage pile by the goddamn support Sivir. And the fact that every lane picked into losing. Katarina picked into losing to Graves. Teemo picked into losing to Kench. The whole team is susceptible to Yi except for me. Like, he's just gonna fuck everybody up. And I even I have to get the late game. This one, this one's been fucked. This is just a fucking insta -L. It's unfortunate. Um, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna put my head down and go into the jungle and go into power farm mode. And hope that my team holds out. Just pray to God my team can hold out until I'm strong enough to do something. But they're not gonna hold out. They literally never do. Uh, in situations like these. So, we just, we're just gonna slowly lose this one. There's really not a whole lot I can do about this. I needed them to help, like, react. Like, if Vayne would have gone onto the dragon right away instead of turning around and running away for no reason, we would have had it. Or if Vayne would have went that back to, like, try to stop Yi. If she would have walked towards Yi, we would have been fine, too. But uh, neither of them did anything like that. Neither of them did anything on what we would have needed to get done to be worth a shit right there. As long as my red's still up. Auto attack? What the fuck? We just stopped for no reason. I helped Katarina once and she just didn't follow up on the ganks. Now it's just really weird to like, you're pinging me to help you again, but you literally didn't want it the first time. Like you wanted it and then you didn't react the first time. So it's like, I don't feel weird about it. Whole thing's awkward. Not like he's low or anything. We have no kill potential. I don't know why she's pinging him. Holds down, good to know. He's gonna go take my blue, I'm gonna take his stuff, just do a little handshake, a little sideways jungling. Oh, I want a blue ward, or a red ward, pink ward. to be quicker than they were. And I needed them to be a lot quicker than they were there. 
They were just super slow. I pinged I was coming. I did my stuff. Ooh, I got an assist. Cat got a kill. Nice. Good heads up play by the old cat arena there. He's dead. They both dead. Nice. Cat's big now. Let's do the Tiamat. I have four to Sheen, no. And let's work towards those plated steel caps. Died. No, Timo died. How's Timo doing topside? Um, he's holding his own. I mean, he died right there, which is unfortunate, but he's got haste now. He's working on Cole. He knew he'd be playing the slow game. Can't just build up resistance to him is the problem. Uh, bot lane feeding isn't good. Bot lane just walking in and dying for no reason to nothing is pretty bad, I'd say. I got attack damage. I can go go Kench. How about Timo? I thought you want to take the tower. Go Rift, man. Alright, no ganks. Sorry for ganking. No, you know what he's mad about? He's mad that we shared a... He's mad that I... We shared some of his, his gold in mid. That's all he cared about. He wanted to hog all the gold on his own. Dead. Oh, he's dead. It's really weird of Timo to shove me off when he absolutely needed my help. That's super strange. He wanted to go up there and like solo all the gold. And I went up there and split some of it. I don't know why he wants to solo. I don't think he's going to be that helpful late game. He's not going to slow down Yi. He's going to hurt him, but like he's not going to. Get the goal. Did get rift. Oh, bot lane's feeding again. Who would have thought support Sivir was a huge pile of fucking dog shit? Oh wait, literally everybody knew that. Literally everybody always knew that. I'm gonna flash. Fuck, I needed help. I needed help. I pinged he was there. I showed that they were on their way twice with two different squi- uh, What are they called? They're not Skyers? What are they called? Two different fucking plants. I said, hey, he's coming. And then they all of them just elected to completely fucking ignore that. What YouTuber showed you Sivir support? There it is. Oh, and a bot lane's murdered us.
He took my red buff. Is anybody gonna stop him? I'll be the one to do it. Nope, support Sivir. You're not gonna steal the kill from me. Nice try. Got my red buff back. Got some gold. Oh yeah, all chat's not dead. Ziggs just typed what YouTuber showed you. Support. Do not deny your instincts. <laughs> the triumph. Oh shit. Run for your life. Why would you... I guess she's trying to save me. I gotta put this orb down soon. Bane does not want her anywhere near her lane. That's kind of wild. I really fuck up Graves. I guess it's because he won an offensive item. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Sivir stole the kill. Alright, I have to get this dragon, not because Cloud Dragon's good, because it's not as dog shit, but because I don't want them getting soul. He will actually do just fine against Tench. They traded two for one, it looks like, but... He's gonna have a... Uh... He's gonna have some pretty baller mushrooms. to Triforce, and now I can build... I'm actually gonna build a Bramble Vest also, just cause fuck ye, and then we'll do a Spirit Visage, probably. I'm gonna need it for Ziggs. Shen's going tank, actually. I may finish Thorn Mail out entirely. First. Ziggs is gonna be annoying. Then again, he probably won't be targeting me. He does a lot of splash damage. This is a weird one to build for. Ziggs is fed. We don't lose outright like I thought we did. I thought we were just fucking cooked, but... Graves isn't actually that strong yet. Vayne also scales to infinity. Fuck, when did they get a Rift Herald? You fucking bitches. 
They burned R for that. They burned some fucking ults for that one. Alright, let's, uh... Get something rolling. Timo's gonna start laying the fucking mushrooms. We're gonna be looking alright. Uh, Kench is very beefy, I think. Unless Vayne can stay on him for a second, he just beats their ass. Vayne's farming like dog shit, too. She's actually not that strong. We're gonna have to play way late game if we want her to, like, matter. Hey, Envy. Ziggs. That's what I'm talking about when I say Ziggs hurts. That's what I'm talking about when I say Ziggs stings a little bit. Here, clean up. Take that. Support Sivir is still weird as shit, but if we get a lot of AD on Yi in a short amount of time, he still dies. Good to know that the team of me and Sivir can fight Master Yi, at least. Also, when I finish Thornmail, we'll have a bit of a thing going. Fuck, what an ultimate. He's still not gonna save it, she's gonna get that. Nice. Kill Kench. We will make use of I cannot, in fact, kill Kench. He can kill me after he dies? Oh, that's a crazy move. Oh, okay. That's kind of fucked. Yeah, I figured once Kench was dead, he didn't do, like, burn damage or anything. But I guess after Kench dies, you could just die anyway. Even though you were inside of him, and then he spits you out. I threw the dragon on that. I thought I'd kill him easier than I did. Uh, it's crazy that he built MR and he still beats me. I guess he has... Uh, he has no. Kind of. Yeah, it's crazy that he built MR and he still beats me. Yep. He stopped at his Spectrus Crowl. It's not like he finished his Spirit Visage. Okay. Maybe that's what surprised me. Losing that Cloud, cloud Dragon was my fault. That was dumb. I did not think I would die when, like, Kench was, like... Katarina literally killed Kench and I was alive. And then, like, a second later I died. That one was strange. But I'm not gonna get there. Oh, yes. off that mid lane, you're gonna die. Katarina, please go mid. Cannot begin to tell you how much faster I split pushing you do, Katarina. Oh yeah, I kind of do need to be with the team. He's gonna kill them all. Timo just entered. Weird. Weird move for Timo. Like, hey, what if I just died?
Okay. They didn't take the inhib. She's still mad at me because she wanted to play Split Push Katarina, which is one of the worst things I've ever heard of. Instead of letting me do a split push. And so instead of split pushing, because I wouldn't let her, she just walked in and died and then started blaming me. R2 and 7, Vayne is stealing my red. And I'm pretty sure if I take it from her, she'll just AFK. I don't know if I pretend Ziggs doesn't exist and keep building armor or what the deal is. Timo's dead again. Oh, he has perma blind. Maybe he kills Yi. Blind him. Blind him again? No. Doesn't stand a chance. Doesn't stand a chance. Report this junk. There's somebody nearby, he wouldn't dare fight me. Yeah, Yee's nearby. Oh shit, I'm getting collapsed on. Are they still looking for me? Well, yo, what the fuck? There's still three of them down here. What are they doing? I may have just won. I, I'm not gonna say I won the game, but we—I did a fucking turnaround. I may have just won the game, given them the run around. We're not going to win off that, but like, we stall Cloud Soul. Three of them ran around with me down here for 10 minutes, so my team 5v2, or 4v2, the rest of them. No, the fucking... Yeah, if that auto zigs there, I live. I think I can ignore zigs. He's scary as fuck, but like, for some reason, I just never seem to be fighting him, so... We're gonna ignore Ziggs for now. I take that back. We'll buy a Spectral. There we go. That's a compromise. No, wait. I don't want to. I don't want a Spectral. What do I want? I want the uh, this. There we go. That's a compromise. Is Vayne big yet? <clears throat> no. Vayne has two items. Is she? She's got to be sitting on a fuck ton of gold, surely. There's two items and boots. There's no way I have two items, boots, and three half items. And she's got two items and boots. Come on, come on, come on, come on.
How long am I stunned for? He dashed. Can't just a bitch and a half. Ain't that something? He did a uh, shield breaker. Whatever it is. Teemo, please don't die for no reason. Damn, Teemo died for no reason. That's a fucking shame. Vayne is literally sprinting directly to my red. Vayne is camping my red off cooldown. Oh my god. He didn't have ult. Stop, man. Think of the gift sub. Appreciate you. Alright, team is going barren, but Katarina's finally trying to live out her dream of being a split push Katarina. See how it's going for the team without Katarina there? Okay, team died. Fuck! I didn't have flash. If I had flash, I'd get that, maybe. He's dead, except he's not, because he got a big-ass shield for no reason. Oh, yeah, ADC items are busted right now. I split push Katarina working out. What's she doing? Oh, she's doing nothing. Damn. The rough one, boys. Gotta go to enjoy the lead. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Apparently, one of Rhymes are gonna get the subs went to me while I was here. Yeah, it'll happen. W. It is a fat fucking W. That is a fat fucking W. This game wasn't lost. In oh my god, Graves has 234 CS. What the fuck? He's huge. This game wasn't lost in champ select. This game was lost because his team was shitters. Champ select certainly didn't help, though. Katarina can't make up her mind. She typed, report this vein, report this jung, report bottom. She can't make up her mind on who, whose fault it is that isn't hers. Uh, everyone on that team sucked ass. Should've dodged when I saw a support server. That was my fault. That was my fault.